Ladies and gentlemen, you know what's happening. Go ahead and turn your volumes up loud. I'm on the road again, but we got to get it done again. It is Monday. This is Blazing Takes. I am, of course, Rick Blazing. You know I'm joined by my guy. Deej, how we doing? I'm doing great. Monday, best day of the week, if you ask yells. And I don't know how many other people, but Monday, best day of the week. We're here, and I love lasagna. That's shout out Garfield. So, Rick, let's, <laughs> <laughs> Rick, let's hop right into it. There's some interesting news out of one of the open runs that we had uh, yesterday. And it's kind of the – there's been a little talk about it today. So, in an open mm-hmm. run in North Carolina, um, Isaiah James was playing. And we actually had uh, a little celebrity show up, uh, Jay Cole. Was was right. with him. We all know he's a hooper. We've seen him play. You know, he he's a great rapper and he's a he's a great hooper. Um, but yeah. a little altercation broke out. They were going at each other. There was a couple of pictures snapped. You can see him kind of in each other's face. Isaiah James was in his face. No physical altercation involved. Just eventually had to be separated by um, Benari and um, Jaden Springer of the 76ers was also in there. Um, what what do you make of this? Is this something to kind of you know, give any weight to, or what are your what are your thoughts? Let me get this straight. A uh, James brother got into an altercation. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> I can't believe it. Are you serious? No. Uh, no. Nah, in, in, in all honesty, man. I mean, on one, on one hand, you're not really surprised, right? Because the bloodline is the bloodline. The genes are the genes, right? But it's it's open run. Energy is high. Uh, so there's much to do about nothing. Just guys being being. Being physical, it's just guys talking smack, just guys representing for who they are. I've got to a few other cases at 24 fitness myself. So it happens, man. It's just, it is what it is. I think if it wasn't those popular, those two names, J. Cole and Isaiah James, they probably wouldn't even make, they probably wouldn't even, even made the defeat today. So probably not. Uh, if, it, if it wasn't it, a, a superstar and A list celebrity, I would call him and J. Cole. This, no one hears about this. It's just a. No one even hears about this. So when no one reported when I, when I buy this film with somebody in the gym. Uh, for, for 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 trying to trying to dunk on them, right? So that was wasn't reported. So again, it's just the two people that's involved in it. But it's much to do. About. Right, and and here is my whole thing. I don't think there's probably anything to be reported about. Really, I think it was probably just the heat of the moment thing. I'm sure they both understand. I mean, Jake Cole's a hooper. He he knows that happens on the court sometimes. Um, Isaiah James, he's 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 a dog. We've talked about Isaiah before. He's a dog, and he's got that dog in him. When you're on the court and you're competing, it doesn't matter if it's an open run. It doesn't matter True. what it is. Um, True. They, he, he's going to compete, and he doesn't care who you are. He doesn't care if you're J. Cole. He wouldn't care if he was up against LeBron James. He, he's going to play with that dog in him. So I don't think this is anything to get all fired up about. Um, at the very least, yes, it's the James bloodline, but he's not in the media talking his stuff or anything. He is – he's playing the game. And I'm sure it's water under the bridge. I'm sure they – you know – we're fine after the game and everything. Uh, but I, I honestly love it. I love it from Isaiah James uh, because it shows you that he he doesn't care who you are. He is passionate about the game, and he he does not care what name is attached to his opponent. So I, I kind of yeah. love it if I'm, if I'm yeah. Coach Drayton. And I already knew this about Isaiah if I was Coach Drayton, but it's going to put the league on, on notice about this guy. Uh, he is not about to back down from anybody. Yeah, as long as he don't become the next Dylan Brooks, we should be fine. Well, see, it's a fine line there. It's a fine line there. See, and as long as he is good at basketball, I don't think he'll become Dylan Brooks. So I think it should be fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, but but moving on, Rick, you know, Commitment Craze has uh, actually officially come to an end. Um, yep. We we got the official release of the schedule out today, so I'm sure all the coaches and some players are going over that, starting to think through some game plans and, and whatnot. So – Let's uh let's do some let's let's go over opening night. We've got four games that are going to be broadcasted on Sim World TV sure. on opening yes, night. Yes, sir. Uh, let's go through one by one, and each of us are going to give our picks on who we think takes each game for opening night. So that being said, let's start with um, let's start with Sim World Asia Pacific at Sim World Europe. What are your thoughts and what's your pick? Uh, both teams are kind of reloading. Uh, I think APEC has, APEC has less of a reloaded to do than somewhere in Europe. I'm going to give APEC the win by eight. Okay. See, and I'm, I'm going to go – I'm actually going to go with Simroad Europe. Um, and here's my reasoning. It's a very specific reasoning, and we'll see if that changes. But as of right now, if I'm not mistaken, um, I believe that Stephen George is not returning to APEC. Now, correct me on that if I'm wrong, but I know I saw him in the mm-hmm. roof, 
and I never heard that he mm-hmm. was going back to APAC. So it might be that I'm I'm underinformed on this one, but I don't believe he's going back. And here's my thing. Europe just added Ivanov Andri, seven foot two. Baby. I think he is going to be better than advertised. I think he's going to be a force down low. I'm not sure how they're going to handle that. And along with um, Zodorn and uh, whoever else that Europe has added this offseason, I think they come out strong with a home win. Okay, so Ari scores 30 and then Apex to win by eight. All right, cool. All right, so let's let's move on to our next one. For our next one, we got Philadelphia Elite at Gotham Five. That should be a good one. Right? Like, what do you think? Man, it's early. It's early in the season. It's early in the season. Oh, this is gonna be a really good game. I got um, Philadelphia pulling it out in overtime. Overtime. Yeah, I got. You see what I'm okay. about? I got Philadelphia pulling it out in overtime. So we. We are actually going to agree on this one. Uh, I'm taking Philadelphia as well. I actually, though, I'm not taking it to be a super close game. Might be kind of close. I don't think it's that close. Uh, I think Philadelphia controls the game. Um, they didn't really lose too much this off season, and they added. Wait, 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 wait. So you said? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. You said Illy versus who? Gotham Five. Gotham Five. See, my, I'm sorry. My mind is all. I'm thinking. When you said Illy, my first team I went to was Beast of the East. I'm just <laughs> automatically. I'm just automatically already set for the game to start. I'm sorry. Illy versus Gotham. Oh yeah, that's not gonna be. Illy, I'm sorry. That's not going. Yeah. Over time. I'm, I'm taking Illy. Uh, they they Double retooled. Digits. They Double added, digits. They added too much. Uh, Monte Parson, Knox Hall is going to be even better. Orlin Mock in the backcourt also with him. AJ Frost looks a lot better than he did last year. Jermaine Owens looks like he's taking a big jump. And, I mean, I, I think with that team, they've got the same coach, Coach Drees Williams, um, heavily respected. Um, Harry Lime, he's new. Uh, coach for Gotham 5, and I think they've got some things to figure out. Yeah. So I'm not sure that they're ready to go I'm with sorry. their full speed against Philadelphia on opening night. So. And let me let me apologize, G five. I, I I was thinking. I'm sorry to get your hopes up. I was thinking B sort of easy. When he said G five, but my thought went strictly. I want to see B sort of versus the other. That's all I want to see them play each other. Like, so I'm sorry, G five. I gave y'all positive some hope. Y'all will be losing by ten. <laughs> Fair enough. So let's go to the next one. We've got some some interesting players in this one. Indy stripes at Lone Star Basketball. That's going to give us Dylan Harper on the Indy side, um, and we're going to get to see Arthur Lattimore for the first time in his new Lone Star threads. I, I think Indy going to have some adjustments. They got to get used to. Uh, it's, everybody's new. Everybody of, everybody of, of substance is new, including the new Dylan Harper guy. So I got Lone Star pulling this out. We keep in the heart of Texas, baby. Yeah, I, I'm actually – Lone Star by I'm also going to take Lone Star. I think this is the one that could be really close because Dylan Harper is going to come out. And I think he's going to come out strong. Uh, he knows he's he in a new league. He's got to kind of – he's already got a lot of hype on him. People are already going to say that he's a top five player in this league, um, and, and rightfully so because he's a top five player in all of high school basketball. So it only makes sense. But he's still going to kind of want to come out and show that. Um, I think hopefully Coach Shiragon – Shiragain – I'm sorry, I might be butchering your name, but um, – New coach, I think he has heard a lot of people say that they want to see more of Reza Red. I'm sure he's seen the film on how good Reza can be. I think he's got a plan to get him involved. Um, and so I think between those two, I think it's going to be a really close game. I only give the edge to Lone Star because they're at home and because they've got that incredible stadium. Um, and I think that is the difference in this. I think it's within five points. And I do think Lone Star takes it. But will not be surprised if I see Dylan Harper put up a 30-piece in this one. So... Agreed. That's my take for that. And then this last one, Battle of the Popes. We're all excited for this. Cascadia and <laughs> Bay Area Breakers. This is a good one. I think I think eventually Isaiah Pope is gonna start whooping Drake Pope's ass. But I don't think it's the, I don't think it's open tonight. I think Drake Pope and I think Bay Area beats it wins overnight. But I think over the course of this season, if they play three games I think I've been scared on the Panther game. But if they do, I think Cascade's going to take two out of the three. But Bay Area takes this one off in the night. Yeah. So this one was the hardest one for me to decide because on the one hand, Bay Area's got a lot more guys who are used to playing for Bay Area. They've got the home advantage. But they did retool a lot. They added a lot yeah. of guys that, that Drape Hope is going to have to figure out how to use. They're going to have some growing pains this season, even though Sean Hyman looks to take a big jump. Trey Hyman looks to take a big jump. Dime Hardaway's back looks to take a big jump. But I, 
Cascadia added Tyree Wells, who's supposed to be phenomenal. Yes. Kevon Jackson, yes. Daniel Irvin, they've still got Tyshawn McGrady. I actually think, and this this is my hot take here because I couldn't decide between the two, so I went with the underdog on this one. I think Cascadia goes into Bay Area and takes the first one. Now, that's no disrespect on, to Bay Area. I think they have more potential than Cascadia does because of how loaded their roster is. But because of that, I think they're going to have a little more to do to figure out how to maximize that potential. So I think yeah, in the first game think- of the season, I'm taking Cascadia. Mm-hmm. Hey, I ain't mad at that. I like I like Bay Area because they have guys who've been there before. Cascadia is all pretty much pretty new. Yep. As far as the players, you tell Moni still come out of breath again. So more <laughs> flight number. He's hey. on the road. He does everything possible to get in for this show for us every day. Let's give the flowers. Let's give our flowers to Rick today, guys. Let's- appreciate it. Appreciate it, guys. But <laughs> yeah, I got Bay Area winning this first. But Cascadia in the long run. <laughs> all right. Well, that's our that's our opening day games. Just uh, everyone get down there in the threads. Let us know if we got the right take, we got the wrong take. Tell us why your team's gonna win. What did we overlook? What did we what did we maybe give too much weight to? What do you let us know what y'all think?